lot of issues, it seems, uh, for this bank. Um, the emerging market story, the weakness in North America. W what is there for investors to like? Well, investors like the long-term story with HSBC, which uh, ever since Stuart Gulliver took over has basically, as CEO, has basically been that he was going to reposition as much of the bank as he could in the faster-growing emerging markets. Now, as Stuart recognises in his interim report today, in the short term, the trends are actually going against that strategy, with China slowing to an estimated 7.5% or so GDP this year and next uh, and also uh, some increases in provisions based on a slowdown in Latin America. The long-term trends, the group is absolutely adamant, are still in place. But shorter term, there is more excitement elsewhere in the sector. And, and for, how, for how much longer is that shorter term weakness going um, to bug the share price? Well, well, that, well, that is the critical point, of course. It's very easy for a management to stand up and say, well, in the long term, we're in exactly the right place. And, and indeed... Many people would say that's what more management should do, but the market is made up of short-term daily and intraday moves. And right now, the trend is for banks that have got exposure to U.S. and North American investment banking. HSBC is relatively weak in, in that position. And, of course, in the U.K., we've got all the excitement of the recovery going on at Lloyd's and to a degree RBS and the potential government share placing so just leaves HSBC on the fringes of the news flow right now. Well, I mean what, what, what's your feeling is it a buy right now or not? I, I think in any market where uh, there is a macro trend up that HSBC shares struggle to other, against other alternatives if the market is trending up uh, HSBC barely does better than the sector uh, and at the moment, we've got a banking sector in Europe, not driven by earnings revisions. That Those are basically flat over the last month, the Olive Tree OTAS platform shows us. But they're being driven by lower implied volatility from the options market and lower cost of credit uh, from the debt markets. And those two factors are positive for banks. And HSBC doesn't tend to do, do as well as others in that environment.